access all of our tanks. We lose seven tanks. Then we have to go to ration of water. We try to supply water to all different districts with the water trucks, first of all, so people have water to drink. Then we um, start chlorinating the water to make sure water is drinkable. The rest of the island, so from Colby Hill, back to Lowlands, the water is drinkable already. We are working now on K Hill, Coolsack, St. Peter's, sort of water area to get that drinkable because those tanks are pretty much intact. We can bypass those tanks as well. On the eastern side of the island, we have um, a tank of point bank damage, a tank of water damage, which is difficult for to distribute water drinkable. The roofs are gone, the water can be, is, is good to drink, but because the tank is open, we are saying not to drink the water, but to boil the water first. So once you boil the water, it is drinkable. Well, where we are right now, the Dutch ministry provided assistance to St. Martin, where you can get a quick way to get drinkable water for the residents. What we did with uh, Dutch drinking partners, we partnered with them, brainstorm how we can do it. We came out that we can supply water to the festival village, and they can treat the water from here in a reverse osmosis system and bottle the water into the bottles where people have water to drink. Now, this system is um, a plus and a win, whereby residents can come tap up here at the festival village, at McDonald's in the squatter, at Fresh Market in Madame Estate, and we plan to put some more tanks throughout the whole island as well, too, where it's needed. For example, Point Blanche, Guana Bay, and um, Kulsak area, where the water is not drinkable as yet. And this way, you can come tap up with drinkable water. And we hope the residents take this water only for drinking and not for household use. We have tap points in different districts for water for household use. So you can take that water from there, fill out a, a bucket, flush the toilet, bathe your skin, etc. from there. What we did, uh, we have a number of workers assigned to this project here. They have been trained how to operate this and how to maintain it as well too. And we hope within the next three months, we can have this system out of operation and go back to normal operation from GB with tap water at our homes and that's a matter. The water is pure, tastes well. GB's finest. As you know, after Hurricane Irma, much of the distribution system for water for the island was damaged. So although the water production by Seven Seas remains intact, distributing the water from there to the various parts of the neighborhoods is a problem because some of the tanks were damaged, some of the distribution lines were damaged. So what it means is that for some of the areas, even though you have water coming out of the tanks from GB, it isn't really ready to drink. So the idea is that with this, in partnership with, with the Holland, um, we've put a reverse osmosis plant in, and this is producing drinkable water. So in partnership, they're producing water that people can come for free and they can fill up their containers, and this is safe, drinkable water. And so this is just another way so that we don't have to distribute so many um, bottled water. Now you have an option that you can get water for free. Just come by, fill up your water tanks, and take it home. You know, as far as I know, there's no hard costs to the government. You know, this is part of the relief aid that um, Holland's donated to St. Martin's, so there's a number of partners who've obviously assisted in this, and so they've brought their equipment, their technology. Um, I saw the Marines actually helping to uh, set up the building, and all of this is really part of the relief efforts from, from the Netherlands.